All right, right now we're going to look through the steps of long division. Dun, dun, dun. I promise it's not as scary as it seems. There are just a lot of steps. So, how we remember our steps, we have very specific order of things we do. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. And you thought you were just doing division. <laughs> then you repeat it as necessary. In order to remember these steps, we have a silly saying. We say, dead, monkeys, smell, bad. <laughs> it's very silly. You could definitely try and make up your own DMSB saying to help you remember. So here's our practice problem. 46 divided by 2. <clears throat> it could be written like this, or the way I usually say it when we're doing long division is how many times does 2 go into 46? They mean the same thing. So a couple important parts about division. This number is the dividend, the number that we are going to be dividing. And this number is the divisor. That's how many groups we're dividing something into. And up here, we're going to have the quotient. That's going to be the answer to the division problem. All right, let's get started. We start by writing DMSBs down the side because this helps us keep track of what step we are at in the process because that's the most confusing part is knowing, okay, what do I do now? We need to draw some arrows also to help us because when you divide, your answer goes on top of the little house and when you multiply, your answer goes on the bottom. All right, we need up and down lines to keep everything straight and nice and neat. If it gets messy, it gets really difficult to tell what you're doing. Step number one, divide. And we are looking at 4 divided by 2. And the way I say it is how many times does 2 go into 4? 2 goes into 4 2 times. And that was our divide step. So I crossed out my first D in my DMSBs. Step 2 is multiply. <clears throat> so we're going to do the 2 that we just wrote down times the 2, the divisor, which is 4. And when you multiply, your answer goes down. So I write it down there. And I cross out my M in my DMSBs. Step three is subtract. So we're going to do 4 minus 4, which is 0. And my answer goes down there, and I cross out my S and my DMSBs. My next step is bring down. So I take the next number in the dividend and bring it down and cross out my B. Now we've gotten through one round of DMSBs, but we need to start over because we're not done yet. This number down here can never be bigger than this number up here because it wouldn't make any sense to have a remainder of six. So I am out of room on my page, so you are going to continue working down your page, but I'm going to start a new one. So I'm quickly going through everything we've already done. So now we're all caught up. All right, step five, divide again. Now we're looking at how many times does two, the divisor, go into six? The number we just wrote. This is the step that kiddos always get messed up on. They say, what am I dividing? You're dividing that 6 we just wrote down. So 2 goes into 6 three times, and when we divide, our answer goes up, and I crossed out my D in my DMSBs. Next, I'm at step 6, multiply. <clears throat> I'm going to multiply the 3 I just wrote down in the quotient by the 2, the divisor. 3 times 2 is 6, and when you multiply, your answer goes down. Number seven is subtract, so six minus six is zero, and I cross out my S in my DMSBs. And step eight would be bring down. So we look, is there anything left to bring down? It would be right here in this box, and there's not. So I just cross out that B, and we are done. The 23 is my quotient, my answer. So 46 divided by two is equal to 23.